Hello, my name is Ivory Dublet, and I'm a performer here in the Twin Cities and a teaching artist with Ordway Center for the Arts. Today, I want to talk about my favorite art form, musical theater. In this video, you will learn what musical theater is, when and where it started, and a little bit about how it looks today. But before we get started, we have to warm ourselves up. It is important as musical theater artists to always keep your voices, bodies, and imaginations nice and warm. Let's start by taking some deep breaths. Place your hand on top of your belly button. You should see and feel your stomach move out and in as you breathe. Try to keep your shoulders out of it. Take a deep breath in and let it out. Deep breath in, let it out. Now you may see my shoulders or my chest move just a little and that's okay. We just wanna make sure there aren't any big movements in our bodies. Take another deep breath in. This time when you let it out, hiss it like a snake. Hiss. Take another deep breath in and hiss like a snake. Hiss. Very nice. Now let's breathe like Spider-Man. Deep breath in, Spider-Man. Deep breath in, Spider-Man. <laughs> Very nice. Can you come up with some more ideas? Maybe breathing like a bunny rabbit or like a basketball player. <laughs> come up with some fun ideas. All right, next it's time to warm up our voices. We are gonna do the ABCs. Not just any ABCs, but the ever buzzing ABCs. Move your lips like this. If that's too tricky or it makes your nose itch a little too much, you can try rolling your tongue like this. Either way, it's just fine. Let's go for it. All right, so we've warmed up our voices. We've gotten our bodies moving. Let's move them a little bit more. This is a game called Led By. We are gonna imagine that an imaginary string is attached to the tip of our nose, and we are being led by that string all around our house. So can you move around being led just by your nose? How does that look? How about being led by your ear? <laughs> How about your elbow? <laughs> what about your back? <laughs> Find ways to extend that game. You can be led by your toe or your ankle bone, by your hip or your knee. Find ways to play that game with your grown-ups or your friends and family members. All right, our voices, our bodies, oh, our imaginations. We are gonna play a game called Toy Shelf. I'm gonna pretend that there's an imaginary shelf right here to my side. I'm gonna grab a toy off of that shelf and start playing with it. And you have to guess what toy I'm playing with. Are you ready? Here we go. Guess what it is? A basketball, that's right. <laughs> mm, one more. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> A telescope, pretty cool, right? <laughs> 
try that with a grown up or with a brother or sister and see if they can guess what toy you're playing with. Okay. We warmed up our voices, our bodies, our imaginations. I'm feeling warmed up, are you? <laughs> now, let's get down to business. What is musical theater? Musical theater is storytelling or acting and music and dance. You put those three together and you get musical theater. Now, some people believe that musical theater started over 2,000 years ago in Greece. They performed outside on these large stages called amphitheaters. And there was groups of musicians called orchestras and singers called chorus. And many, many cultures have lots of musical theater styles that are unique to them all around the world. Here in the United States, we have Broadway or the American Musical Theater. Okay, a trivia question. What is the name of a Broadway musical that was first a Disney movie about two princesses, one named Anna and one named Elsa? Do you know? Hmm. Frozen! Let it go, let it go. Can't hold me back anymore. <laughs> That's right. Now, did you know that first Frozen was once a book? It is based off of a story called The Snow Queen by Hans Christian Andersen. Now, Frozen is just one of many musicals that first come from a book. There's lots and lots of other Broadway musicals that were first books like Mary Poppins, one of my favorites, and my absolute hands down all time favorite, The Wiz. The Wiz and Wicked are all based off of the book called The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum. Look it up. Okay, for today's activity, I want you to find two musicals that were first books or stories. Find out when they were written, when they became musicals, and what they're all about. When you find two musicals that were based on stories, tag us at hashtag Ordway School. Let us know what you're finding. And until next time, stay musical, everyone. <laughs> I'll see you real soon. Take care.